Welcome to our move to France. In December 2020, myself, Sam, our three boys, Charlie, Henry and George, our two dogs, Lucy and Teddy, decided to leave the UK. We packed up as much as we could in our van, rented a cottage and drove 1,200 miles to the place we now call home. Please follow us on our journey, the ups, the downs that we come across along the way and our renovation of our new not yet a chateau. Right. Good afternoon, welcome to my move to France. Um, just following Tony, we've hooked up the trailer to the quad because a lot we did a lot of uh, chipping of the wood. So now we're going to try and move it. Oopsie. I'm going to take it up the end in the trailer and leave it in a heap so should we need it it's there right do you want me to put the camera down so I can help you uh -huh. do you want me to put the camera down so I can help you uh -huh. yeah what? should I put the camera down so I can help no As you can see from here, the distance, that pole is now gone. And now we've got this. And then once that's done, we can safely say this part of the grounds is done, other than just obviously keeping it maintained with strimming and cutting the grass. Well, even if you just take it so far. I mean, this was the purpose of the spine quad to help uh, on the land. So I'm going to fill, put it in a pile, and then should we need it, it's all here. Do you want to leave it here, Tone, and we'll just push the trailer into that section, and then I can um, shovel it out as and when, yeah? I said, should we just turn it, the trailer into that section, leave the trailer here with that on, okay. and then when I get a chance, I'll start shoveling it out as and when. Because I'm mindful there's a big stump that needs chainsawing down. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty standing here holding this. I do. Well, that was, everyone sits and says, I do nothing. Well, it's very awkward, that's why we, we have the tripod, otherwise it means that one of us is standing there. I feel awful. <laughs> I feel awful. Because that is heavy. That do, Tone. And then what I'll do is, um, I should get my wheelbarrow next week. That's what I've got. Uh, I think next <coughs> week and um, I'll just get a shovel and just wheelbarrow that out and heap it up. I reckon we could push it up there. Do you think? Yeah. I'm not doing it No. Alright, just leave it there as long as you can get out and your number plates are hanging off. And I'll crack on clearing up all the... The only thing I've got to bring up is... Eh? Hey? Got to repair that rake, can I? 
Yeah, at the moment I'm using George's little rake. Our, our rake got um, damaged with the digger because I probably left it on the floor because I have a habit of leaving stuff, don't I? And then forgetting where I've left it. Um, if I carry on raking all the bits up and put it in the wicks bag and then we can bring that up and throw it in that big hole. Oh, I'll help you if you want me to stop this. I want people to feel my pain. I don't want them all sitting there saying, well done, Sam. He's jealous. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> not jealous, it's meant to always be on camera. They'll probably moan in a minute, they can't hear me. Right, let's go down there. Right. It's only because I've got a shouty, loud voice. Only very quiet when he speaks, even with me, I can't hear what he says. I can't wait for this bit to be finished. And then, um, as I said, this section of the grounds is done. This is so easy. I keep walking around, as I said before wanting to start a bit here, a bit there, but you just can't, otherwise you'll end up in just one big mess. I mean, the reason this is like it is is because we utilised the digger when we had it for the path to start pulling uh, this out. And that I've put all grass seed, so once that's all flattened out again, this will be back to a nice lawn. The weather's just right today. Perfect weather. It's not too hot. Right, Tone. Should I do it over and out or? Well, the thing is, I'm sure I don't want to bore too many people with me raking. And you what? Yeah, I can show you so far. I've just got a bit more raking to do. Um, some little piles still to clear up. And put in that bag. I'm going to take a, a little quick video of my um, rose around the arch for my aunt who uh, texted me to ask me how it's getting on. There you go, Anita. I haven't managed to kill it yet. It's actually doing quite well. Right, I'm going to stop filming now because, as I said, I've got to get on. Um, we'll film a bit later. I've run out. Right, although we're extremely busy, <laughs> I said to Tony, let's have a quick look in the loft. Obviously, I've not been up here before, so um, I'm just hoping nothing jumps out on me like a snake or a spider. It's absolutely boiling up here. Um, we've got some tar poling, a broken chest of drawers, um, which actually is a shame. Oh, what's over there? I'll have to have a look. Which light? Oh, you do it. You do it. There's a button that's got a little bit there, gonna just press it. Oh, Tom, just do it for me. I'm holding on to the ladders for dear life. Oh, are you? <sighs> you don't need to hold on to the loft. Why are you doing that? I can't see the button, is there? You go. Right. <laughs> you got that. I wonder where that, what that come off of. Probably like the, oops. 
Oh, I think that's just... Um, God, the last time I touched glass... No, I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, the chest of drawers there. Broken. <coughs> You've got... Oh. Oh. Look. Isn't that pretty? Put that there. And I actually matched uh, this furniture by the looks of it. God knows what these. You got a little potty thing, but it's broken. Shame, mind you. I didn't think for one minute we'd find any treasures because what that? Hmm. There's uh, some sort of shelving thing in there. You can get to the roof from that little window. Right, I'm going to come up this end and try not to... It's so hot. You told me it was quite... There was boxes of stuff up here. I was getting all excited. Yeah, boxes of rubbish. By the looks of it. Well, hang on. <coughs> Could probably use that for something. <coughs> There's another bit of a bed head up here, so. Yeah, I know. We've just been left with um, <coughs> there's another one, them light thing things. Oh god, it's absolutely sweating up here. I think there's like, um, oh God, what do you think? One of them things you put over the top of the curtain rails, plinth type thing. That's the thing, a pelmet. Oopsie. It's a, a bit of a picture. Which I bring down. It's a skating rink. Yeah. No. I'm going to have to swap hands. Sweating. But I'll take that. Oh, Jesus, Tone. It's absolutely it's falling apart. It was in a frame. And the frame is so old, it's. Uh, it's in... Oh, jeez, Tone. I'm absolutely sweating. There is more of, um, there's more slate tiles. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. You've got this. Hmm? You hang it somewhere. Right, just thought we'd do a video after we finish today. Uh, this is what we've done. Uh, see if I can find a, a previous picture slash video. I'm hearing some strange noises here today. Um, so yeah, that's what we've done. Sam's cleaned this shed out, all the cobwebs. Get that sorted out. 
We had a friend over the other day that uh, showed us a kiwi plant with some kiwis on it, but for the life of me, I cannot find it now. I had at least two kiwis on it. I don't think it was in the other field. Don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this is complete now. I put grass seed down there. Whether or not it's going to grow or not. Obviously, we've had very dry weather, so I'll wait until it starts raining. I don't know when that's going to be. We've got a. Um, we're not allowed to use water at the moment for, um, you know, planting or filling up pools or doing anything like that because we are uh, restricted, so we can't do anything. So I can't water it, um, and we don't have any sources of water here that we could use. Not that I know of, anyway. Also, we've got the. Um, We've got the pump thing, which is in the trees. I don't know if that works or not. Uh, not a clue, but yeah, as you can see, looks a lot better. Looks a lot neater. People are probably sitting there and think, why are you doing this? Now you've got electricity. Well, we might as well do this. Um, what are all these noises? It's freaking me out. Um, we might as well do this while we've got the opportunity, because when the bad weather sets in, which may not be too far away, I don't know. Um, we won't have the opportunity to do this, so. And, obviously the path is, path is a vital part of us being able to come here permanently, so. We will see. Let's have a quick look at Sam's plants down here, see if they're still alive. See if I can find out what these noises are. I think it might be a hedgehog. Yeah, they don't look, they don't look the best. <laughs> yeah, I think they might need watering. Oh well. Maybe we can get some from somewhere else and water them. The problem is here, because we've got brand new meter, it's sitting at zero. So, and obviously they know, or the, the marine knows that the place isn't livable. So if I started to fill up a pool or started filling up gallon drums of water, and the man comes around to read the meter, they're gonna know that we've been using quite a lot of water. So the end of this month there's going to be an announcement to say what the situation is with the water so and then possibly I might go and buy a pool but at the moment there's not much point if I can't fill it up all I'll end up doing is building it and it'll just fill up with dirt and leaves and this that and the other so it's not worth it I wonder if that's the kiwi oh I don't know not clear Right, well that's, that's all we're doing today, uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon thing for all notifications so you get notified when we upload, which is almost every other day, um, and we'll speak to you soon, see you later guys, bye bye.